devious schemes involving stealthy espionage, daring heists, or cunning business deals. <laughs> but um, as long as they're ethical and legal. <laughs> Hi, Tom here. I'm building an app called photondesigner.com. Check it out here if you'd like a way to build Django UI really quickly. Anyway, in this, we're going to be adding inline AI suggestions to your Django app. Here's what the final product will look like. As you see, I'm typing in a few things, and then the AI, the LLM we're using, which in this is Llama 3, is instantly giving you suggestions or recommendations. This is a really cool technique that I reckon will become super common. So we're going to be going through the written tutorial here. And there are roughly six steps. It's pretty easy to do. And we'll use a really nice third-party API. Let's get into it. So we're in the, on the written guide here, link in the description below. And you need to choose your LLM. It should be really f as fast as possible and also warm. Warm means it, you don't have to boot it. So we'll be using Llama 3. As you can see, if here I just type in, we're on replicate here, I just type in the cat is, and then this quickly we get responses. Let me just move my head a little bit. This isn't, we'll, you, we'll tweak the prompt to make this better, but this is the API that we're calling. And it's essentially oh, extremely, extremely cheap. OK, so let's get into the programming. So we're going to set up Django first. We'll go side by side here. And here's my IDE. Set this up. Cool, so we've installed Django. And there's our sim app pop up. We'll run through the usual things. So we need to go to usual setup. So we go to settings, installed apps. I'll just ignore this. Add our app, which we're calling sim. And then we're going to add our environment variables. I've written Stripe keys here, but <laughs> I'll need to correct that. So go to your settings as well. And then we need to add our environment variables and copy this and paste it in at the top. And this will throw an error if we don't have our replicate API token. And replicate is the service we'll be using. And then we need to go and get your API token from replicate, which will be around so back onto replicate. And then dash API tokens there. And then it's yeah, just create one. And so I'm assuming you've done that already. And then we're going to go into core and create a file that we are uh, .env file. So .env, that's the full name of the file. And then paste in replicate API token and then add in your particular API token there. OK, and so I've got my API token. Keep this private. I'm going to delete this after I've done this. Step two, let's add our Django app URLs. So copy this into your core URLs. So core URLs. Paste over the top and then copy this and then go to sim and then create a file called urls.py for your app urls. Paste it in. So our two routes are going to be views.index and suggest. And then we'll use htmx to get the HTML for suggest. So step three, now we're going to add our views. So go down, copy this, and go. Then go to sim views and paste it in. Just to walk you through this very quickly, let's get rid of this. So we have initially we have our index page, which is just going to render a template. Simple. Within that, there will be a form that when we use HTMX, which is a really awesome tool. Loads of videos I've got. Here's one of them about HTMX to send a request back asynchronously using JavaScript, and then send this prompt, which is the magic source, to replicate here, which we've installed and then get the completion and then render it with our HTML with our particular completion for whatever the user's typed in. So you can see here, this is our prompt. That is what the user will have entered. And then this is our, these are our instructions to the LLM. And then it will return here, the completion. Really simple and really powerful. OK, step four, we're going to create our templates folder in Sim. So go into Sim and then create a templates directory there in Sim. And then we're going to add our two HTML files, so suggestion.html, and then it's just this, so copy that in. And then we're going to create an index.html file, index.html, and then paste this in, which is our main file. And as you can see here, there is we are using HTMX there, and here is our form that will then send what the user types in on their input to suggest, which will then will then return a template from suggest into the suggestion here at the suggest the ID suggestion, which is there. And then we've got a little, tiny little bit of extra jar, vanilla JavaScript here just to make things a bit neater and add some, for instance, this allows you to 
get as you, when you continue writing it moves the ca the carrot to the end, and these are just little nice UI tweaks that I've added in, and hopefully you will yeah, find useful. So feel free to read through through those, but these are just they're not too much there. Okay, let's run our server and see if <laughs> see if it works. Okay, so go open your terminal, and then Python manage.py run server run visit. Don't worry about these. Okay, we've got our unstyled text box here. Let's test it out. This apple is juicy and sweet. Pretty good. It is unpleasant because it's overripe but has a sour taste. And then you can click there. And then we go, okay, um, let's try something a bit different. Apple is a company that specializes in designing and then my name is John. I'm happy here to tell you what you might have. It's working. As you can see, pretty damn cool. I think you can probably imagine things, hopefully, for your apps about how to use this in a you know, really cool way. Great. So you've got your unstyled component working. And now section six, if you'd like, you can style the UI with Photon Designer, which is my product. But yeah, you go to the product, and then you would paste the product in here, and then choose a color scheme if you'd like. And then also put, add your starting code there. And I've used a particular prompt. This generate amazing UI for this inline AI suggestion component. Add must for details. Simplify my existing code. Yeah. So feel free to try that. Of course, it's in alpha. So you'll probably need to tweak some of the output. But if you want to generate the UI, it's a really nice fast way to do it. Here are a couple of yeah, little simple generations. So here's a text box that I made, and there's the code by generating it. And yeah, then you'll need to connect up HTMX. So yeah, that's if you if you want to get creative. Otherwise, we can just go down here and then copy in what I, what I generated earlier with Photon Designer. And so we paste that into our index.html, or you paste in what you've created, your choice. And now we go back to, now we go to our product, and there it is. There's the our style product, and let's try typing in. Hello, my name is friend, <laughs> Alex. And I'm here to assist you with any questions you have. And I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm just here to assist you with devious questions or problems you have, devious schemes involving stealthy espionage, daring heists, or cunning business deals. <laughs> but um, as long as they're ethical and legal. <laughs> Very good. And there we are. So we're done. As you can see, this is a really cool technique, easy to do. And the LLMs that are out there are really good already. I bet this will become a really common pattern that we see in apps. And yeah, generally allows us to provide recommendations to users that are really great. So powerful thing to know. Yeah, besides that, like I keep saying, Feel free to check out my product, Photon Designer, to build your UI and build your front end even faster. Besides that, I'm making more Django content weekly, and here are a few more videos. All the best to you.